Do you feel the vibe? Hey guys, my name is Joe and today I'm going to talk about the Smart Things Hub that I was able to pick up for about 50 bucks after Christmas down from its normal retail price of about a hundred dollars so the smart home is becoming very popular and all these different companies are trying to jump on board and a lot of them are using different standard different connectivity standards so a smart hub is a good way to bring all those different connection types together in a single point of access basically so <clears throat> The Samsung Smart Things Hub is probably one of the more popular hubs out on the market. But before we take a look at some of the performance and setup, let's take a look at what's in the box. So here's the Smart Things Hub. Um, I picked up just the hub by itself since I already have a bunch of different devices, but there are some home kits that come with other accessories on top of the hub. So let's take a look at what's in the box. So let's, let's get this off. Let's set that off to the side. So inside the box we've got the hub itself. And we have some instructions on how to set it up along with along with some other reading material we've got the ethernet cable to hook it up to the Wi-Fi or to the <clears throat> internet router got the power cable and then there's some batteries inside the box to actually allow you to provide a backup power source just in case you lose power not that it makes much sense because if you lose power you're probably not going to have internet which is probably not going to allow you to control anything anyways so I'm not quite sure why they did this but Hey, I guess it's a nice backup feature to have. So, that's everything that's in the box. I'm going to go ahead and start getting this set up. As you can see, you've got your Ethernet port here, your power port, and a couple of USB ports. And then you have a reset, um, reset button here. So basically all you'll need to do is hook up your ethernet to your router or from your router to the hub and provide power. So I'm going to go ahead and get that all kind of set up and I'll be back in a few. So I've got everything hooked up and now I'm going to go ahead and move on to some of the features and stuff within the mobile application so <clears throat> to finish setting this up basically you'll have to download the smart things the Samsung smart things application from either the Google Play Store or iTunes or the the iOS App Store um, <clears throat> and basically just follow the on-screen instructions it'll pretty much ask you to enter the code that was on the booklet within the package and if you don't have an account you'll have to create an account um, it's pretty straightforward so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the functionality that is available within the mobile application so now I've got my Android screen mirroring so that I can kinda of show you some of the functionality of the application so I've gone ahead and logged in with my account and basically configured the SmartThings hub. Um, and pretty much the first thing that I did is I went to the My Home and I was able to click on Add and find all my devices. 
The uh, only devices that I wasn't able to find were my iHome smart plugs, um, and basically I had to <clears throat> I had to go in and link I had to go in and link my iHome control account with the Samsung Smart Things Hub, and then it was able to find all those lights. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of I've got a bunch of Hue lights, I've got some smart plugs, I've got my I've got my Hue Hub. You can see my my phone, some unavailable lights and some just smart plugs. <clears throat> so if I wanted to add anything else, I could um and then you can you can also assign everything to rooms that way it's it's quick and easy to turn on or off all the different can the different devices that are associated with that room um, and then you have some scene stuff that I haven't really played around with um, the big thing that you're probably looking for once you have found all your devices is you want to start you want to start automating them um, so here you can see that I've, I've, I've already linked my Google Assistant and my iHome Control Connect account, which I was just talking about. Um, but you can come in here and you can set up different routines like good morning, um, hey, I want to turn these switches on at a specific time or turn them off, um, and then you can create your own custom routines as well. So if I want to if I want to turn turn all the bedroom lights on. I can set that up and then I can decide which lights I want to turn on boom boom done um, And then I've got a bunch of different options that I can turn them on at sunrise or a certain time or it can work with alarms. So there's there's a lot of functionality. Um, there's still some stuff that might be a little bit more difficult to do, but there's other things like IFTT or just, I mean, there's, there's plenty of ways to automate everything once you've kind of got everything hooked up and ready to go um, <clears throat> so this is kind of a, a quick look into the app and some of the feature sets that it has um, overall I'd say that this is a it's a good hub um, some of the more complicated commands still aren't there, but that's that's a programming issue that Samsung can fix at any time if they haven't already. Um, again, I haven't really played around inside the app, but uh, that's pretty much uh, my take on things. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, like, subscribe, share. I uh, plan on trying to do more videos related to home automation and smart home devices as I install them and add them in my home. Thanks for watching. Bye.